story that I call the convergence story. It's a story about the origins of money in barter. So the idea is that in the beginning, before there was money, we're in a very primitive society and people are just exchanging all sorts of things between themselves. So fish and uh, salt and services and sheep and silver and gold. And gradually, uh, in this, out of this broth of barter, silver and gold rise to the surface, sort of like uh, fat to the top of the broth, because they're the easiest materials to, to give back and forth. And gradually people converge upon silver and gold as the obvious items to save and to give each other for value. And so silver and gold, they begin to cut them into little discs because they're easier to deal with that way, and they begin to use them like that. And, and the government becomes involved at, afterwards as a kind of secondary matter, regularizing the little discs of silver and gold that are being passed around. So they, government comes in to standardize money, so they start to mint money. But the basic action was done by these buyers and sellers who, um, out of the process of exchange, and as they're handing around so many things, produce coin or converge upon coin. And um, there's, a, there's a bank story that goes along with that, a bank piece, which is uh, merchants are using silver and gold uh, to buy and sell with each other, and bankers begin to clear the accounts of merchants who are trading back silver and gold, and gradually people begin to take these paper promises, the, the promises, the representations of the bankers, which they know are good for another merchant's credit, and, uh, and they um, start holding these pieces of paper as paper money, so that just the way, just as coin emerged from trade, back and forth, of private property, paper money emerges, we have commodity money in the first example emerging from the trade of private property, and then paper money emerging from the trade of um, accounts that people are holding uh, at banks. So in either, both cases, money emerges, at, emerges out of exchange. The government in the end gets involved, it gets involved in the second, uh, in this, you know, um, as a later act of the banking story by providing a lender of last resort. But the real, the real work is done by private actors.